Planet Terror movie review. So I think originally this was combined with Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof and released as a double feature grindhouse in the theaters. Uh, at least in the U.S. I was living in Japan at the time and uh, internationally I think these were just released as two separate movies. Certainly by the time this hit the video store uh, it was two separate movies. Uh, so uh, Planet Terror was one DVD, Death Proof was the other one. I, you know I'm somewhat ashamed to say that to this day I haven't seen Death Proof by the Tarantino one. Which I really should. One of these days I'll try and make up for that. But this is Planet Terror, which is the Robert Rodriguez half of the movie. So if, if you're unfamiliar with the premise behind, I guess, both of these movies, I, I believe uh, the, as the title implies, Grindhouse, it was supposed to um, recreate the experience of the kind of exploitation movies that played in 1970s Grindhouse theaters. I forget why they called them grindhouse. There's some sort of reason, uh, but the, these movies that would just uh, that were out kind of in the middle of nowhere that would just play these uh, bad exploitation movies, uh, which Tarantino was a huge fan of back in the 1970s, I believe. It was slightly before my time myself. So it is kind of attempting to make a bad film on purpose, as it were. Now. Before I even saw this movie, uh, I was thinking about Roger Ebert's take on Godzilla, 1985. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a di digression, but stick with me. I, it, it'll come back around again. Uh, so I was a big Godzilla fan back in my youth, uh, and uh, I, I was looking at some of the old Roger Ebert reviews, and Godzilla, 1985, Roger Ebert was of the opinion uh, that Godzilla 1985 was trying to be a bad movie on purpose, which I don't believe the filmmakers ever explicitly said is what they were doing, but that's, that's what Roger Ebert thought they were trying to do. Uh, and Roger Ebert said, okay, we all, we all know that there's good movies and there's bad movies. And everyone's familiar with the idea of a movie that's so bad it's good. Uh, but, said Robert, Roger Ebert, there's a catch. The, the movie has to be trying to be good. Uh, then all the humor, all, all the enjoyment of uh, So Bad It's Good movie comes from watching the movie try so hard to be something it's not. Whereas if you make the movie bad on purpose, then, then there's no humor in it. Uh, so that's what Roger Ebert thought. And Unsurprisingly, perhaps, Roger Ebert was not a fan of Planet Terror. You can look up his review. He, he didn't think too highly of it. Me, uh, the whole time I was watching this movie, I had Roger Ebert's thesis in my head. C can you make a movie so bad it's good uh, and do it on purpose? And I decided, yeah, sort of. It's possible to make a bad movie on purpose provided the audience is in on the joke, and the movie is chock full of guilty pleasures. And even then it's probably good for only one viewing. Uh, I don't think this is the kind of movie where you want to buy the DVD collection and rewatch it every week. Uh, at least not for me. Uh, the first time viewing though, I thought it was pretty entertaining. It was an excuse to engage in all sorts of guilty pleasures and at the same time be able to laugh at yourself for enjoying those guilty pleasures. Uh, and at the same time, maybe even feel slightly intellectual and sophisticated uh, because, after all, you're watching uh, Tarantino and Rodriguez meta film that is itself a commentary and purity of other films. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't seen any of these Grindhouse 1970s movies that they're perioding. Uh, and yet, this movie did feel very familiar to me. I had a hard time figuring out exactly why. Um, I think uh, the movie invoked a lot of 1970s zombie movies, um, some of which I've seen, like Dawn of the Dead from the 1970s. Now, I wouldn't call Dawn of the Dead a grindhouse film. It's, it's more of like a classic horror film. Um, but yet it was still shot in the 1970s with kind of the same style. Uh, and the, those scenes of the zombies disemboweling people from Dawn of the Dead are almost exactly the same 
uh, as in Planet Terror. So obviously, I think there's a little bit of an influence going on there. Uh, also, various B-horror movies I've seen, Friday the 13th, Evil Dead. Uh, in the director's commentary for the DVD, which is worth listening to, uh, Rodriguez said that he tried to make this movie look as much from the 1970s as possible with all the things like the lighting uh, and the film and stuff like that. And, and maybe, maybe that's why it feels a little bit familiar to me, is just any old movie I've seen from the 1970s makes this film seem vaguely familiar. Okay, uh, spoilers. I'm going to get into the, little, the plot details a little bit here. Uh, this film is such a mixture of genres that it seems to lack balance. And I, I know some of that is on purpose. But it's supposed to be a campy horror movie. At the same time, it's supposed to be a campy action movie. In the director's commentary, Rodriguez says he killed off the kid and the dog. Spoilers. Uh, because Grindhouse movies were famous for the directors doing things that you weren't supposed to do in a movie just to shock the audience, like killing off the kid character or the dog character. And yet in this movie, when all the characters are magically reunited at the climax, uh, including throwaway characters like the crazy twin babysitters uh, and unlikely characters like the sheriff father, it seemed to be more reminiscent of a typical Hollywood twist of events. Uh, that happy ending just seemed very Hollywood. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what was the point of killing off the kid and the dog and then having the happy Hollywood style ending. Um, but maybe Rodriguez, if you were to ask him, would say that the Grindhouse film is supposed to be a sloppy mix of genres. But see, that's the problem with reviewing a movie that's bad on purpose. Uh, any fault you can find with it, you can just explain away with shrugging your shoulders and saying, well, it's supposed to be bad. So, yeah, at a certain point you just have to give up. Uh, I did find this movie entertaining, though, so it's got that going for it.